Yeah, it tastes okay. Ah, thank you for watching Nice Cans. I am Thomas Mergel, and this is the best metal show on YouTube. Hands down, the best metal show. Why? Because there's no bullshit. Soon, I will implement some music into this, into a podcast form, so be on the lookout for that. So if you enjoy the YouTube stuff, and you want to migrate into uploading shit onto your phone device, your Androids or your iPhones, I'll be doing that shortly. Later on this year, actually. I'm planning for a early winter idea with that. So, there were some interesting things happening today. Um, one of them being uh, the job for a Cowboys fan just bursting into flames and the band just posting a picture like, Meh. here's an update. Band's on fire, or the van's on fire. They don't give a shit. <laughs> they haven't toured since 2013 anyway, so it's the most action that van's seen in a while. <clears throat> that was disgusting. All right. Aboth, the band Aboth, as well as the the front ex frontman for Immortal have released a new song today, um, Fenrir Hunts, and it's a really good song. Uh, very fast, thrashier kind of black metal. It's uh, is it just jaw dropping and epic and revolutionary? No, is it consistent and kick ass? Fuck yeah, it is. It's a really good song. I like it. Um, anything coming off of any Norse mythology is a really good thing in my book because I'm a huge fan of Norse mythology. So, Fenrir hunts. Uh, go listen to it. Jam that fucker and share it. It's awesome. Band of the Day is Drowning the Light. I've been wanting to listen to their new album from the Abyss for the last couple of days and never got around to it. So I made it the Band of the Day. So I would just have that reason to just have that video open. So I just I listened to it earlier. It's so good. Just evil atmospheric black metal. And I've been in a black metal mood lately. So I I listened to the new Abigail Williams, uh, the new Horn album. Um, I think it's uh, Exquisite Ending. Those are all really good black metal albums. I'll be doing reviews for those shortly. And uh, more black metal. More of the, you know, the hipsterish black metal is uh, Deaf Heaven. Released their, or streamed their new album right now on N NPR. So head over to NPR. I'll have the links down below. Check that out. Um, I know some people are just like, well, fuck Deaf Heaven. They're so lame, but some people like them, and I listen to a couple of the tracks, and it's actually pretty good, so give them a shot. And uh, the last but not least, um, kind of a slow day for me, and busy at work, so I was not at the computer as much as I wanted to be. But the last thing I saw today was uh, Dark View. It was it's a website that posts about black metal and everything, and they have a summoning interview up now summoning is an atmospheric black metal band that has tolkien uh lore and everything lord of the rings all that stuff um and they've been around since 93 you should know who summoning is you should need an introduction but some it's an interesting read and quote we are working already for a new album they have leftover riffs and everything from their last album old morning's dawn and it's really badass that they are working on a new album. It's been a year since... Uh, they've been gradually working on it for the past year. And I really think that... I mean, I'm crossing my fingers here. But I'm hoping for a new release next year. Um, I don't want to push it too hard. Because I want them to craft it and make it really awesome like they always will. But I really, really do want a new summoning album. So that's it for today. Nothing but black metal news besides Job for a Cowboy's uh, van being on fire. So I will see you tomorrow. And actually, I won't. I have uh, I have something to do after work. So I won't have another video up until maybe Sunday or Monday. So I'll see you then. Have a good day. Bye-bye.